Hello, everybody. Welcome to Richard Osman's House of Games. I am Richard Osman. This is the House of Games. That's how we came up with the title. <laughs> Every week, four famous faces join me to battle in a quiz to win this magnificent trophy. Now, this week, our four contestants are Nish Kumar, Annika Rice, Clara Ampho, and Al Murray. Welcome. Welcome to the House of Games, Nish. Lovely to be here, uh, Richard. Who do you think your big rivals are this week? Well, I, I've got a sneaking suspicion that Murray's got some trivia game. He looks the type, doesn't he? <laughs> Annika, now, on House of Games, we don't know what any of the games are going to be. I'll press this button. Oh. New games will come up, all sorts of different things, all play along. Some quite silly, I'm going to tell you now. Some overcomplicated, I'll also say that. <laughs> I have to admit, now, um, I glaze over quite easily. <laughs> and so, just, are there any snacks? Uh, I tell you what, given you're here all week, we, okay. I, I promise you okay. we'll, we will fine, feed then. you. That's fine, I'm, I'm happy. Clara, no disrespect to Nish, but someone cool, finally, on the show. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No, what do you mean? Oh, Annika, you're sophisticated. Oh. Clara is cool. What's Nish? Nish and Al, they're stand-up comedians. We're here. You know, <laughs> they're stand-up comedians pretending not to be competitive for the time being, is what they are. <laughs> Clara, we know you're a DJ. Music stuff will be very good for you. Hopefully. Don't forget, though, as well as this lovely trophy, there are daily prizes as well. Oh. You can choose between one of these. <gasps> oh, Love wow. those daily prizes. Well, There's a House of Games well, cushion there. Well. You will notice, I'm sure, the House of Games pasta maker. Yes. Uh, House of Games scented candle. I thought that was an old-school, like, ringer for laundry. <laughs> well, you probably could use it for that as well. Right, OK. Put your, uh, put your tiny pants through it. Yeah. You could put your tiny pants through it. It's the House of Games <laughs> tiny pant wrangler. Oh. Uh, any of those catching your eye? Oh. Clara, what do you fancy? I think the tiny pant wrangler. Yeah, I've got his new album. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, Al Murray. Al, so you're here all week. Yes. Any tactics to uh, get the best of these three? Um, well, try and stay fresh. Always give yourself time to think. There's more time than you realise. That's the, generally <laughs> my approach to these things. This is a great, I tell you what, Annika wasn't kidding. She's already glazed over. <laughs> that's, already, that's already where she's gone. Um, very best of luck to all four of you. Oh, let's see who wins today. Are you ready to play the first game? Yes. yes. OK, let's do it. Our first game today is... <laughs> rhyme time. Can you guess what this is? It's no. time for things to rhyme. It's time for things to rhyme, Good. Clara Ampo. It's absolutely Good. right. Now, in this round, questions come in pairs. In each pair, the answers rhyme with each other, OK? That's the only thing you need to know. Uh, fingers on buzzers, please. A point for each correct pair of answers. Good luck. Fingers <laughs> on buzzers at home. Here's your first question. Animated cat and mouse duo created by Hannah and Barbera. Former Great British Bake Off judge, that is Al Murray. Tom and Jerry, Mary Berry. Tom and Jerry, Mary Berry is the right answer. Very well done. You see how it works? They all rhyme, you see? <laughs> That's how it works. Very good buzzer speed from Al Murray there. Very good buzzer yeah. speed. Impressive. Here's your next question. Official London residents of the UK monarch and 1982 UK number one single for the jam. Al Murray. Buckingham oh. Palace, a town called Malice. Let's see if that's right. It is indeed very well played. And then it's when I'm going to show you two pictures. What are these pictures of? Is your first one? Is your second one? That is Nish Kumar. <laughs> Mark Ruffalo and the Gruffalo. Mark Ruffalo and the Gruffalo <laughs> is the correct answer. Very well done. Here is your next question. The former of the 1981 UK top ten hit No Woman No Cry. Egyptian former UN Secretary General. Al Murray. Bob Marley, Boutros, Boutros, Gali. <laughs> is that right? It is the correct answer. Yes, well done, Al. Yeah. Let's put in the buzzer. So um, good they named him twice. <laughs> no UN sanctions, no cry. That was his big hit. <laughs> Boutros, Gali. The next one is a picture followed by a piece of music. What is the rhyme here? Here's your picture. Here's the music. All this talk of getting on. It's getting me down loud. Clara. Pauline Quirk, the drugs don't work. Oh. It's the right answer, Clara Ampho. <laughs> Very well played. Here's your next one. Character played by Anthony Perkins in the film Psycho. Band whose UK hit singles include Sultans of Swing and Money for Nothing. Al Murray. Norman Bates, Dire Straits. Norman Bates, Dire Straits. Are you right? He's good, isn't he? You are indeed. 
good on the buzzer, isn't he? He's really good on the buzzer. I'm picking up the scraps I can while, <laughs> while I can. Can I just say, Richard? Yes, Annika Rice has a question. If you actually get no points during the whole thing, yes. is that sort of kudos in its own right? Is that um, kind of legendary status? I would that? say no. Oh, okay. I would say <laughs> there are certain programmes I work on where getting zero points would be very good. So this one is not one of those, <laughs> I would have to say. Here is your next question. Famous Phoenician Bridge. 1954 novel by William Golding. Let me see who that is. <laughs> it is Al Murray. Uh, the Bridge of Sighs and Lord of the Flies. Oh, that's that is very good. good. Very Bridge of Sighs and Lord of the very, Flies. Very, very good. good. Correct yeah. answer, Al Murray. Here's your last question. We've got a picture and a bit of music. What's the rhyme? What is that and what is this? Al Murray has buzzed in. It's Sean Penn and it's Raining Men. <laughs> Sean Penn, it's Raining Men. That is a... that's a brain. That is great. It is Sean Penn, it's Raining Men. That's the end of that round. Shall we take a look at the scores? I wonder who's leading. <laughs> well, oh, it's, no. it's pretty much neck and neck at this stage. Uh, Annika? Yeah. Just keeping... Just, yeah, just exactly. easing myself in. Easing yourself in. You know, Nish and Clara sort of easing themselves in as yeah, well with yeah. one point. Currently in a small lead, Al Murray was six. <laughs> Goodness me. Well, we've done one. Yeah. OK, we've done one. It's quite one. a relief, to be honest. I health, cannot wait for you yeah. to get a point. I know. <laughs> it's it's so exciting. Exciting. Shall we play another round? Yes. yes. OK, let's take a look. What are we going to play now? <laughs> Distinctly average. OK, in this round, we play in pairs. The lowest scorer always chooses who they pair up with. Annika, that's you uh, in this case. Well, it would be nice to get a point, wouldn't it? Yeah. Al? <laughs> Al looks you delighted know, with just, that. Anything I can just, do to to, help. just to ease me into the pointage. I otherwise... feel I've peaked, though, I'll be honest oh. with you. <laughs> so, Annika, you'll be joining yeah. Al. Clara, you'll be joining Nish. You swap places, so you sit next to your teammate. Exciting. Nice, isn't it? Now, you've all got tablets by the side of you there. If you oh, take yeah. those out... That's modern, isn't it? Oh, so oh, modern. Al is going to be at a huge disadvantage here because of his age. Absolutely. It's, it's probably the first <laughs> yeah. time he's seen one. What is it? <laughs> now, here's how this works. You're really going to rely on your partner in this round. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. I need you all to write down your answer on your tablet. But in the pairs, we will then take the average of your answers. I'm Very confident. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Let smart. me get I'm not. <laughs> 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 So, Nish and Clara, Annika and Al, let's take a look at your first question. No conferring, I need you to write down your answer on your tablet. According to the British Egg Industry Council's estimates... Great people at the British Egg Industry Council. I love those guys. <laughs> How many eggs were consumed in the UK each day in 2016? Ooh. That's really hard. That's a really hard one. It'll be interesting to see if you get close at all with each other. Has everyone written down an answer? Clara is written, writing such a long number. <laughs> are you happy with your answer? Yeah, yeah. OK, they are locked yep. in. So, according to British Egg Industry Council estimates, how many eggs were consumed in the UK each day in 2016? Nish, what have you gone with? I've written 10 million eggs and I've drawn a picture of a happy egg. <laughs> it is a happy egg. So, you think 10 million? Yeah, and as I say it out loud, I feel that it is too much. You think it's too much? Yeah, wow. it might be too much. Oh, I think there's 65 million people in the UK. Yeah. So you think one in six people, they have them in cakes and stuff like that as well. Oh, and cakes! Clara, what have you gone for? Essentially, I'm saying 60 million. She might have helped you out there because your yeah, average you is going to go up have, now. Yeah, okay. So let's take a look at your average. Nish and Clara, 35 million eggs. Wow. You've gone for that. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. Okay. Annika. I've gone for 58 million. 58. You and Clara are very close. Yeah, yeah. I could have gone more, I think, probably now. Well, let's see what Al Murray has gone for. 60 million eggs. Oh, and a Ooh. picture. And a picture 60. of a boiled egg. Oh, wow. 58 million, 60 million. Even I can work out the average yeah. there. Good That's luck. 59 million <laughs> is the average there. So we've got 35 million, 59 million. I think I would have gone higher. Would you go higher? I th only because of cakes. Let's have That's a reveal. It. How many eggs are consumed in the UK each day? <gasps> no. That well, is unbelievable that? That between is... the two of you. The happy egg saves the day. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> yes. Get the British Egg Council on the on the phone. That number's wrong. <laughs> One egg per every two people. Every two people. Yeah. That is incredible stuff. Here is your next question. 
What was the total number of goals scored in the English Premier League during the 2016-17 football season? The total number of goals. You're a football fan, Nish, right? Yeah. So you should be pretty good at this. Yeah. Clara, you've got the face of someone who isn't a football fan. I don't really speak football, if I'm being very <laughs> honest. If you write down your answers, please. Al Murray properly working it out in his head. No, clueless. <laughs> football, whatever. Or Al, no it? pressure, but Annika still doesn't have a point. It would be really nice if you could help her out here. Everybody happy? Everyone putting their answers? Yeah. Lovely. Nish, what have you gone for? I've gone for a 1,000 goals. A 1,000 wow. goals. And he knows about football. You're thinking? My thinking is that it's a 38-game season... Ah, oh, that's what I did. ..and there's 20 think. teams, mm -hmm. and I think if you average it out, they would score slightly more than one goal so, a game. Clara, are you anywhere near a 1,000? I'm really, really not. <laughs> I went for 90. <laughs> Because <laughs> it felt quite, it felt great. Well, football games are 90 minutes long, are they not? Oh, yeah, hold on a and minute. And then you, I drew <laughs> a football, and but it football. kind of looks like a pizza. Okay, that's <laughs> yeah. Well, that's bringing your average down a little bit. It worked for us it last worked time. Perfectly it worked perfectly last time. for us oh, last mate. time. So your average is 545. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, that sounds all right. That sounds good. Annika, how many goals? Random. 890. 890. Because it's specific, it sounds like you really, really know what you're talking about. Exactly. I think you'll be surprised. Al, have you gone anywhere at 890? 1,100. Oh. Do you think I'm nearly heading for a point? You might be. Well, it depends <laughs> what the answer is. Knowing how brilliant Clara and Nish were in the last one, you could be in trouble. 545 right. say Nish and Clara, and Al and Annika say... <laughs> 995. Mm. You like that answer, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, of course you do. Well, because it's nearly your answer. Exactly. <laughs> That's so weird that the two of your brains that know nothing about football put together have literally absolutely replicated yours. Yeah. It's almost like football fans are a bit thick. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look how many goals were scored in the English Premier League in that season. 1,064. Oh, 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 how about oh, that? That's amazing. Very good. Annika Rice, everybody. Anna has a point. Yes. Right. Wow. I'm there. I'm in the game. Shall we look at our next one? According to the Centre for Retail Research, what's the average amount spent by a UK household during the Christmas period in 2016? This includes gifts, food, drink, decorations, holiday travel in the six-week period leading up to Christmas. Have a little think about that at home. Think about what you spent last Christmas. How are you feeling with a with a point under your belt, Annika? Very relaxed. It's nicer, now. right? Yeah. Very relaxed. Chill. Who'd yeah. know that one point could change my life? I know. So it makes, so it makes all the difference sometimes, doesn't it? <laughs> Shall we have a look at your answers? Nish, what does the uh, average UK household spend on? I've Christmas? gone for ten thousand pounds. Whoa! Oh. oh. I, ju I just think... Oh, my what? goodness. Who do I, you live with? Well, I just felt like Listen six Listen to Mr Average there. <laughs> <laughs> Has my credentials as a man of the I'm people gone out the window? A little bit. <laughs> Clara, are you agreeing with your teammate? I am absolutely not agreeing with my teammate. Sorry, Nish. I'm going to go for... £1,750. £1, oh, that sounds a lot more. Oh. It does. Now it's said out loud. Man, Hindu Christmases are really extra <laughs> extravagant. <laughs> Nish and Clara, your average is £5,875. Oh, oh, mate. Love it. Clara, <laughs> Clara you Clara. don't look delighted. I'm not delighted, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Nish, you spend far too much money at Christmas. Annika Rice. £820.40p. And 40p. Yeah. That could be it, though, that 40p. Thanks that could for be making the these averages so much easier to work out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Al Murray. £1,800. £1,800. <laughs> Annika and Al, let's take a look at your average. Your average <laughs> is £1,310.20. and pence. <laughs> Thank you, Annika. Let's see what the actual answer is. What does the average UK household spend? I'm dying to know now. <gasps> Eight hundred and nine pounds. Oh, what was yours again, Annika? Annika? Oh. Very well done. <laughs> to be fair, Nish was only nine thousand one hundred pounds. <laughs> <laughs> so that was pretty close. That's the end of that round. Annika and Clara, if you uh, go oh, yeah? back to your original seats. Bye, Clara. Sorry. Let's take a look at the scores at the end of that round. Ooh. Ooh. We have. Al Murray stood in the lead. We have a tie for second place. You were all silver medalists, Clara. Oh, and yes. That's good, another, isn't another it? Another way of saying that is that you were all in last place. <laughs> <laughs> At least you have company. Uh, you need to catch up on Al. I think. Oh, yeah. That's the thing to do. Shall we play another game, see Let's if we can catch it. up on him? Yeah. 
Let's take a look at our next game. Broken karaoke. OK, we have a karaoke machine on this show, but unfortunately, it is broken. Strictly speaking, we should have fixed it, but we have not done that, so we're going to have to go ahead with this round anyway. What we're going to do is show you part of a well-known song. But because the karaoke machine is broken, we're only going to show you the first letter of each word. So you have to buzz in and tell us which songs you're seeing. Everybody ready to play? Let's do it. Yes. On the buzzers. Your first one is from the year 1984. I was minus one years old in 1984. Oh, man. <laughs> we take a couple of points off Nish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please That's do that. Zero, yeah. That's just depressing. <laughs> OK, what is this song? Oh that goodness. is Clara Amfo. It is Madonna with Like a Virgin. Oh. Is that right? Let's yeah, listen. It is, yeah. 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 It was the V that gave it away. Yeah. It's yeah. the V that gave it away. Yeah. Let's take a look at your next one. <laughs> this is a song from 1964. Clara Ampho. Under the Boardwalk. Is no. that right? Let's listen. Under the boardwalk. Yes. That is amazing. Oh, that's amazing. Under the boardwalk. Under the boardwalk. People walking above. What's the last one little letter going to be? God, you're good at this, Clara. I try. You should be, though. Let's be honest now. There we go. Very well played, Clara. Yeah, That's really very good. nice. It's done. amazing. Just trying to get ready for that Radio 2 gig, you know? <laughs> <laughs> just, trying to, just trying to line it up. This is future you, Clara, yeah. right here. This is where you end up, Clara. That was Under the Boardwalk by the Drifters. Well done if you said that at home. This next one is from 1974. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I know what it is. Lot. David yep, yep. Bowie with Rebel Rebel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh let's have a listen. Yeah. Yep. Rebel, Rebel. Very well done. I love you so. Very well done, Clara. You're killing this round. I like the fact that your buzzer now makes the sound of Al Murray going, oh, I know this one. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your last question in this round. Can anybody apart from Clara get one of these? <laughs> this is a song from 1993. <laughs> 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 Let's see it is. It is Clara and Fro. I'm hoping it's too unlimited. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. I wonder if it could be. Shall we take a listen? <laughs> Very Wow. What an amazing round for yeah, Clara amazing. and Clara. Amazing. Uh, I wonder how well you do at home. Some people won't have got any of them, I suspect. You just see the scene where yeah. you can't sometimes. But let's take a look at what that's done to the scores. We have joint bronze <laughs> medalists. <laughs> Nish and Annika with two points. Clara. Yeah. Six points catching up with our leader, Al Murray. Eight points. Oh, God, so two points in it, two rounds to go. Shall we see what's coming up next? This one's going to suit you, Annika. I'm sure of it. What's our next game? <laughs> is it me is our next game. In this round, you will each be an answer. The person who's in last place gets to choose first. Annika, I'm going to let you choose Thank first. You. I know you're in joint last. Yeah. Uh, would you like to be chicken, cat, camel or cow? Cow. I love cows. Cow. Love cows. Annika, that's chicken. you. Nish, come on, you can choose the next one. I'll take the chicken. You're going to be chicken? <laughs> yeah. Clara, cat or camel? I'm going to go for the camel, you know. Clara, the camel. And Al, you will be a cat. I'm terribly okay. allergic. Oh, you're to cat? Yeah, I just want to declare an interest that if this round goes badly, 
It's the allergy. Are you allergic to, <laughs> to sign saying cat? <laughs> well, we're going to find out, aren't we? That would be a hell of an allergy <laughs> so if you're allergic to the yeah. word. I'm going to show you now a series of statements. If you think that statement describes you, hold up your paddle. And if not, keep it down. Might be none of you, might be all of you. Here comes your first statement. I produce milk. I produce milk. Sometimes some of these are easier than others. A cow is a good one to have for this statement. <laughs> I was really excited. I am then. quite a yeah. fan of, of cow's milk. It's, uh, it's quite, you get it in some of those artisan places, don't you, in, the, <laughs> yes, in East London? It's very rare. Clara, you're saying camel milk. Al, you're saying cats. And you're saying there is such a thing as chicken milk. <laughs> <laughs> A chicken milk latte. Mm. <laughs> you never know. So everybody is saying yes to this one. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Including Nish. I'm taking a punt. Has Nish scored a point in this round? <laughs> Let's see. I produce milk. Which of those are correct answers there? Cow, camel and cat all do. <laughs> Close one. Weirdly, Close one. chickens don't produce milk. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it might, well, it might be one of those weird facts about chickens. I'll tell you a weird fact about chickens. Yeah. They don't produce milk. <laughs> Here's your next statement. I score eight or more. In Scrabble. As a word, I score eight or more in Scrabble. Staying down or going up, Clara? I'm staying down. OK, everyone's given an answer. Let's see who scores a point there. I score eight or more in Scrabble. Oh. Chicken, oh. cow and camel all do. So mm. points there for Annika and Nish. But I was thinking in terms of it being on a triple word score. Well, you should have asked, Al. <laughs> oh. uh, here's your next one. Who is a correct answer here? I am mentioned in the Bible. Chicken, cow, camel or cat, which of those is mentioned in the Bible? God, I would have thought camel, surely a camel. You don't say. Oh, Nish. Oh. oh, he doesn't know. I'm now going up and down. Al, are you staying down? No with cats? cats in the Bible. Ain't no cats in the Bible. Ain't no cats in the Bible. I'm going to take a swing that there's a chicken in the Bible. <laughs> That's the first time anyone's ever said that. <laughs> so Al staying down, everyone else staying up. Which of these animals is mentioned in the Bible? Chicken, cow, camel, and no cat. Oh, Everybody wow. got a point. Very well done. Wow. Ain't no cats That's in the Bible. Ain't no yeah. cats in the Bible. <laughs> Let's take a look at your next statement. There are more of me in the world than there are people. There are more. Nish straight up. More chickens than people. Cows, cats, camels. Everyone seems pretty sure of their answer. Let's take a look. Very well done again. Yeah. All four of you get a point. Here is your last statement in this round. Which of you is an answer to this? I've appeared in the title of a UK number one single. So that word or a plural of that word in the title of a UK number one single. I, I'm going to gamble here. Annika, where are you going? I think I'm down on that one. Annika says no cows. Camel Clary, staying up or down? Ain't no camels at the number one spot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. And Al, you're going up with cats. Stray cat, yeah. strut, love cats, something yeah. like that. Is everyone locked in? Yeah. yeah. Let's take a look at the right answers. Yes! Very well done, <laughs> yes! everybody. Yes! Goodness me. <laughs> cat was Brian and Michael, matchstick men and matchstick hey. cats and dogs. Oh. Oh. And chicken. Yeah. Spitting Image, the chicken, chicken song. Chicken song, yeah, yeah, yeah. The number yeah. one yeah. single. Brilliantly played everyone all round. I hope you played well at home as well. Let's take a look at what that's done to the scores as we go into our final round. Oh, oh it looks close enough. Nish, all by yourself in last Dead place. Dead last. Annika, third. That's pretty good. Can't Clara, go, ten points. Al Freaks. Murray, still with that two-point lead going into the final round. <laughs> right. <laughs> OK, let's play our final round. It's always the same, and it is... Answer ah. smash. And in this round, answers have smashed into each other. So if you saw a picture of my face and the question, which Shania Twain song has the lyrics, colour my hair, do what I dare, you would say, Richard Osman, I feel like a woman. <laughs> if you were to say Richard Osman, a man, I feel like a woman, I wouldn't give you the points because you've got to yeah. run them in together. I'm right. very strict on that. Yeah. Okay, these come in categories. Our first category is this, is weather presenters. So on each of these, we're going to show you a picture Ooh. of a weather presenter and a clue. I need to run the answers into each other, please. A point for each correct answer. You lose a point if you buzz in and give me an incorrect answer. What's the answer, Smash, we're looking for here? Who was the regular presenter of the TV series MasterChef when it was first broadcast in 1990? Nish Kumar. Sean Lloyd Grossman. Sean Lloyd Grossman, Beautiful. are you Very right? Good. You are indeed Sean Lloyd Grossman. <laughs> you see how it works? Uh, here's your next one. Who is the narrator of Moby Dick, whose name famously appears in the opening line of the novel? Annika Rice on the ah. buzzer. 
Oh, she's gone too soon. Unfortunately, you lose a point. Anyone else? Nish Ooh. Kumar. Uh, it's Michael Fishmail. Michael yes. Fishmail. Oh, yeah. Absolutely right. Yeah. Here's your next one. Which Quentin Tarantino film stars Uma Thurman as a character known as The Bride? This is one of those ones that everyone at home will know the answer to one of these. Does anyone know both? Maybe the weather forecaster. I do. Al Murray. Kill Bill Giles. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not. It's a really good wrong answer. It's uh, not it Bill loses you a point, it? though, I'm it's afraid. It's Ian McCaskill, yeah. isn't it? It's yeah. Ian McCaskill Bill. Oh. Oh. We were for. Uh, let's take a look at your next category. OK, European cities, those are going to be the pictures. One of the answers smashes here. What adjective describes a person who can use both hands equally well? Clara Ampho. Amsterdam Extras. Say again. Amsterdam Extras. I can't give it to you, anybody else. Nish Kumar. Amsterdam Be Dextrous. Amsterdam Be Dextrous. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here's your next one. What's the city and what's the answer to this one? At the 1992 Summer Olympics, which British athlete won gold in the men's 100 metres? Al Murray. Berlinford Christie. Oh. <laughs> is it Berlinford Christie? It is indeed. Very well played, Al Murray. Here's your next category. World leaders, what are the pictures and what are the clues? What term denoting a crew member on board a spacecraft is derived from the Greek words for star and sailor? Al Murray. Castronaut. I will give you that. Yeah. Fidel Castronaut is what we've got up there. <laughs> Very well done. Here's your next one. What's the name of Peter Pan's exquisitely gowned fairy friend? Nish Kumar. Vladimir Putinkabel. <laughs> is that right? I love it. It is indeed. Yes. Very well done, Vladimir <laughs> That's a lovely note on which to leave the show. Yeah. <laughs> Vladimir P Tinkerbell. Very well done if you said that one. So, we reach the end of Monday's show. Who has won their choice of today's prizes and who is ahead now in the race for this trophy we're going to give away on Friday? Shall we take a look at the scores? Our winner on Monday is Al Murray. Oh. Well done, sir. 13 points. Nish, you came second in the end. It's a very strong finish with Vladimir Putinkabel and Amsterdam Bedextrous. Yeah, I mean... I was right. you, you really... You know what? That was really unlucky. You lost a yeah. point there. You were so close. Stole Annika. It. Yeah. Six points. It's OK, isn't Still it? nothing right on the buzzer, but you Time. did press the buzzer, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Al Murray, you are today's winner. Which of our prizes are you going to choose to take home with you? I fancy the uh, dressing gown. Yeah, I'd go oh, for yeah. that. You're going to take home the House of Games yeah. dressing gown? Yeah. yeah, why not? OK, congratulations, yeah. Al you. Murray. Let's take a first look at uh, our weekly leaderboard. Annika, just the one point from today, I'm afraid. Uh, Clara, two points. And Nishi just tucked in there in that last round to mm. score three. Al, you'll be taking through four points to tomorrow's show. We will see all of you tomorrow, and we will see all of you tomorrow as well. Goodbye. <laughs>Yes, we'll be there at six here on BBC Two. Rugby players from Glasgow prepare to tackle the eggheads next.